great. Feel great to have a Boston Rex uniform right now. You know, it's one of the things that I, that I follow on 2004. Those guys win the, the World Series. I remember 05 when they got trade. I was really upset. And, uh, you know, but like you say, you know, it was tough for both of them. You know, you guys won a couple of World Champs. I haven't won anyone, but uh, it's what we are for. I'm Matt Wehmeyer with the MLB.com FastCast. The two newest members of the Boston Red Sox were formally introduced by the club on a busy Tuesday at Fenway Park. The early afternoon brought a panda sighting as Pablo Sandoval donned a Red Sox uniform for the first time. The 28-year-old third baseman was signed to a five-year, $95 million contract with an option for the 2020 campaign. Sandoval departs the Giants on the heels of winning his third World Series with the club and with whom he had spent the first seven seasons of his big league career. Pablo was a, a primary target of ours um, to start the offseason. Uh, we think really um, fits what we're all about here and we're really looking forward to have him in a Red Sox uniform in the middle of our lineup uh, for years to come. In the evening, it was Hanley Ramirez's turn as the three-time All-Star returned to the franchise which signed him as an amateur free agent back in 2000 at the age of 16. Now nearing his 31st birthday, the career infielder will shift to left field next season, as confirmed by Red Sox manager John Farrell. And Ram is ready to embrace his new role for 2015 and beyond. Sometimes you just gotta look in, in, in the mirror and see yourself that, uh, you know, what I can do to help any team to win, you know. And uh, I spoke with my people, you know, and they told me, you can play anywhere. God give you that talent that uh, you can play anywhere. And, uh, but uh, after they left, I sat down and, you know, think about it. And, uh, you know, I said, yeah, I just want to win. It is now a done deal between first baseman Adam LaRoche and the Chicago White Sox. The 35-year-old agreed to a two-year, $25 million contract to join the club late last week and depart the Nationals after four seasons in D.C. The 11-year veteran spoke about the new opportunity which awaits him in the Windy City. I love the city. Um, I like the challenge of coming into a team that, that has not proved itself and is building and looking you know, to take over in a division. According to a report from CSN Chicago, the Cubs have extended a six-year contract offer to free agent pitcher John Lester worth at least $135 million. That proposal would exceed a reported six-year deal in the $110 to $120 million range put forth by Lester's former club, the Red Sox. The veteran turns 31 in early January and is also scheduled to meet with the Cardinals and Giants in the near future, while the Braves also remain interested in the Southpaw. For more on these stories and all the latest hot stove activity, keep it locked in to MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.